Hey, Tomies, we would like to thank our sponsor, Nerd Alert Treasures, for supporting this podcast. Nerd Alert Treasures makes handmade and customizable dice trays, pencil bags, and our personal favorite, dice bags with pockets. Use our promo code TOMIES, that's T-O-M-I-E-S, for 15% off. Follow the link in the show notes to get yours today, and be on the lookout for Tomies merch. You are listening to Tomes of the Chaos Bar. It is a shame that your adventurers did not make it into the final leg of the tournament. What I don't understand is why we had to watch the events from down here, hidden behind these stands. Solemn, you are in disguise. No one will notice you. And furthermore, we just watched your adventurers walk away and we did not follow them. You always like to keep a close eye on your protagonist in your stories. Hmm? Oh, uh, <clears throat> no reason, no reason at all. <laughs> I'm just, uh, you know, taking precautions, that's all. I do not believe you. You keep looking around. You're looking for something. Excuse me. Or perhaps someone. Yeah, Yes. Who May is... I have a <clears throat> word? Quiet, Quill. Mm. Me, sir? Yes. Are you familiar with this place? I, yes, I, I grew up here, sir. Good. Did you see that halfling that spoke with the Duke? Yes, sir. I believe his name was uh, Roscoe, sir. I need you to find him. And deliver a message for me. Oh, well, I'm not sure where... I mean, I know exactly where he is. Good. Go. And do not delay. Oh, no. I won't, sir. I won't. Was that who I (laughs) think it was? Yes, it was. And the other one. Do you think... Is that... Ah, No, 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 Quill. We don't want any spoilers. Besides, we don't have time to dilly-dally. I have a message to deliver in Chapter 30. Welcome back, listeners, to Tomes of the Chaos Bard. My name is DM Dave, and to the left we have... Henley! Boudreaux! Lila and Garatha! Roscoe! And Fenrir! And today's recap will be by Lila. Lila, I I don't know what I did! (laughs) Oh, no, I did lots of things, Um, but some of them were not so good. Let's see here, what did we do? We decided that we were going to hang out and have lunch, and it was a beautiful, beautiful sandwich, which, um, I think there may have been some swamp water to that. I don't know, but no one Boudreaux in the kitchen. He probably did something, and it was delicious. Anyway, um, after that, we talked to Miss Longquest about some things, and then her different side decided to make an appearance, and, uh... I think I broke her in more than one way. And then we we uh, chased her outside, found her with Henley. Henley kind of calmed her down, I guess. I don't even know what she did, but it was really cool. Uh, and then we brought her back inside, and we're having a conversation. And I brought up the fact that, or tried to bring up the fact that somebody, Bronstam's son was involved, and he cut us off. And, yeah, I don't, I don't actually know what happened to Fanny, but he hasn't been here the whole time. And that... I mean, I probably should be worried, but he'll be fine. I'm sure he's be fine. Okay. So everybody's staring down Braunstrom. Everybody's kind of confronting him. Why is he trying to hide things? 
And outside, you hear a ding, 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 ding. As Fenrir rings the bell. Uh, it, it, excuse me, I must uh, answer that. And he leaves and opens the door and sees uh, door Fenrir. Is, so, sorry, door's out of, like, earshot of everyone else, right? Yeah. Okay. So I'm actually going to follow him to the door. Okay. He opens the door to see Fenrir. And you kind of see him go, like, you hear him take a deep breath. Because he's like, oh, great. I was hoping it was somebody to take me out of this situation. Hello? How's it going, Brostrom? Fine. Um, let me grab the key. Turns around and he sees Roscoe. Almost stumbles over you because he's so <laughs> tall and you're right. s- you're so short. That- no, 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 no. Hey, Brunch, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to scare you, but I wanted to ask you, while well, we're not in front of everyone else, so it didn't cause a scene, why don't you want Miss Glomquist to know? I don't want her to know that I don't want in- me or my family involved with the Hollow. The hollow is very precious to her, and it is something that I do not want to talk to her about. Okay. So it's just out of care for her and and your family, and you not got some weird backdoor deal going on with someone, right? <sighs> Roll me a persuasion check. Ooh! Roll of your life. Please be good. No. Ah! <laughs> it's a five. I, it's just something I wish not to bring up to her. We've had many discussions about it, and we'll just leave it. But if you excuse me, it seems like your friend has returned. Meh. Could I hear that? <laughs> no. You just see him kind of turn the door, and you see him like looking down, but you don't hear the conversation. But you do notice that... You're assuming that it's Roscoe, him looking down so low. <laughs> but he grabs the key, comes over, opens the gate. Is there anything, meanwhile, that's going on that you three would like to talk to Aleem about? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to turn to her and say, do you do not know what's going on between everybody involved and their kin? I'm quite confused on what is going on. Would you like to know, or do you care? If it has something to do with my family, yes, I would like to to know. All right, well, I mean, it's not necessarily a place to tell you, but I don't know if he's going to tell you or not, and if you want to know, you have a right to know. Then please tell me, if my, is my family in danger? I, I don't know that danger is necessarily the correct wording for this. Um... But there is some stipulation going on between, um, between Mendrick's daughter and him and Bronstrom's son as to if they can get married or not, and Hollow is involved in that, and the transaction thereof. And at around that time, the other three are coming in. But th- that's about it. That's all it's Braunstrom, is that all it's about? You see his eyes get a little big. Oh uh, what what do you mean? About Nolan taking over the hollow. Oh yes, that's you knew about that. Oh well I don't see what the fuss is. That's Yes, I I knew that he was Mendrick was going to give him the job there, and that was one of my leaning points of selling it to Mendrick. But there's just been problems with selling. I don't know. Bronstrom takes care of all that. It all goes over my head. Bronstrom does, but if you're the one that knows all of this, and or is in charge of this, then you should also know that there is another potential buyer for that. And he may, he basically just wants it to, not to do any disservice to your kin, but m- because Mendrick's involved, he wants it to kind of cut Mendrick out. Uh, I don't have any qualms with 
with uh, the Braun Strom. What what do you think? I believe that we could possibly get a. He's kind of looking around the room. That a better uh, deal with with uh, Mister Ironhelm, Dwal Ironhelm from the uh, the Iron Hills Guild. I believe that he could possibly have a, a better deal for us for that. Not to mention a better deal for the Hollow. Like, Mendrick doesn't seem to have the Hollow's best interests at heart. Or he might, and has just a funny way of showing it to everybody involved. Oh, well, I, I always enjoyed the comp- their company. And, and I, I do hope that that the two can still get married. Is Is that still possible? I, well, I know there was a lot of writing on this. Give this side eye to Brom Strom, but like, <laughs> look up at him and. Be I believe like, hey. we could still make arrangements with the, the Weathers to make that happen. Oh, okay. There still is the issue of meeting the Duke, of of course. But outside, you hear another ding, 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 ding. Oh no! Did we lose Hanley? Uh, oh, it had. Uh, I knew you were here all the time. Do we head count real quick? All right, Fenrir is here and Henley's here. Boudreaux's here. Lila's here. I'm here. Okay. Uh, not, where's Garotha? Not one oh, of no. <laughs> <laughs> I've been here the whole time. I only walked out to get oh, no. some air. It might be Donkey. <laughs> And Bronster like walks to the door. Uh, yes, how may I help you? I got a letter. I got a message for uh, 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 Roscoe. I was told that I could uh, meet, see him here. Oh, that's me. Uh, yes, uh, uh, Roscoe. There is somebody at the gate for you. Great. Let me go grab that letter. Real okay, quick. you go out there. It looks like some kind of little kid, and he's like, "I got. I was told to give you this." Thank you. And he holds out his hand. High five. <laughs> <laughs> can I just be standing in? The, can I just be standing in the doorway and be like, "Oh my gosh, sugar!" And yeah. just walk out there and hand him a copper. <laughs> Thank you, miss. And he runs away. He makes that noise when he leaves, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's the things that makes him run faster. So and that, gonna, that kid's name is. I'm going to just open the letter right there before I go back inside, so I know what to prepare for. Letter me. Can I try it and read it over nope. his shoulder? Let me find it. Now I'm taller than you. What can do that? What are you kidding? I'm going to read it. <laughs> <Boo-dry>. <laughs> like, excuse me, man. This letter. You want to know what me? it says? <laughs> it says. My name is Boo. No, 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 no. <laughs> it says, Hi, Boudreaux. This is Willow. It was really nice to get your letter. Except you never sent off the Except letter. Except we never sent it. I don't know that. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Roscoe, you open it up and the letter says, Go to the Tipsy Turvy Tavern in the Shanties. I as well have been striving to meet with the Duke. I believe we can help each other. A. Am I reading this over his shoulder? No. Dang it. DM, can I read this over his shoulder? <laughs> You're too short. No, I'm taller than him. Oh. Um, Roscoe, you make a dexterity yes. saving throw, and you make a dex throw. Or you could just push her away. Evans can be sleight of hand, because oh, he's trying to hide it from you. Oh, okay. It's the I same roll either roll. way, so that's fine. <laughs> I'm. What'd you get? I got an 18, straight. Fine. Fine. Had a 12. Okay. So you do, you are able to read it Sweet. over your shoulder. Yes. I just want to lean over and say, who's A? Good question. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> are you yeah. going back inside? Nope. I'm going to the shanties. It's <laughs> Roscoe's adventure this time. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, where are you going? No, I've got to go take care of something. I'll be right back. Well, I'm coming with you. Nope, you got to go let them know what's going on. How, <laughs> how, how loud? What? How loud did you say? Hey, where you're going? Where are you going? Not super loud. Okay, I was going to say if it was loud enough, the other people would have been able no, to hear. No, not super loud because we were like right next to each other. Okay. Be like, I'll be it. back in an hour. Bye. Well, last time somebody went to the shanties, which was me, it was a lot more than an hour. That was the same thing. <laughs> the road drunk. goes ever oh, on I and on. Go, 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 go
got drunk. Okay, Roscoe's gone. Lila, what are you up to? Why is it always the second that gets the short end of the stick? <laughs> Wait, where did Roscoe go? Uh, on an adventure. I guess we've all had our share. He thought he needed one, too. What happened? Did he leave his bag? Wait, I want to go to an adventure. What oh, did he leave his bag? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Mm. Would, would Roscoe have... Yeah. Dropped a pack of his? I mean, I, I the only thing I've got with me is my glaive. All my other stuff is still back at home oh, base. that's right. <gasps> okay. Wouldn't be carrying his stuff around. <laughs> he got a letter. Boudreaux's from... going to go, not Boudreaux, Fenrir's going to go rifling. <laughs> yeah, right? So I'm going to turn to him and say he got a letter from somebody saying that they also try to get in and see the Duke and then that to meet down in the shanties. And it was signed A, no actual anything. That's all said. And he decided, apparently, that he needed to go off on his own. I think he might have gone offended because I read the letter. Mm-hmm. But whatever, I don't care. <laughs> it doesn't bother me anymore because I'm the second and I'm supposed to tell you guys what's going on. Should I follow him? You do like, what you want. Covertly. You do what you want. I'm not in charge. I mean, you can leave me to do all the political stuff if that's a choice you want to make. <laughs> um, I mean... What is going on? I don't even know. <laughs> I'll be back. Left. What tavern did it say? I don't know. I didn't... I don't remember. Oh, Gosh. Never mind. I thought that I was going to like go with him, okay? And I was too focused on who A was. I don't think I can track him in the city, so never mind. A A Ron. <laughs> That's what You're I was welcome. thinking too. You <laughs> remember the tavern. <laughs> okay. Uh those who are still at the Glom Quests, is there anything else particular you wanted to do? Why are you selling the hollow? It's always been up for sale. If somebody wanted to buy it, they they can. If if not, it just Moves on to my family. I think is that is that right, Bronstrom? Uh, yes, that is that is uh, correct. So, Bronstrom, you're pushing to sell it because you don't want anything to do with it. Oh, uh, you don't want anything to do with your your home? Didn't you see his reaction? Earlier? No, uh, didn't you see it? That's that's not what uh, I that's not what was meant. It was just meant that it's a lot of responsibility, and I would like it to go into uh, just the proper hands. It's it is my childhood home. I do think of it uh, fondly, but that is not what uh, it, it just don't have time to take care of such things. But it is your property still, Aleem. You could decide to do what it, with it as you uh, wish. Oh, oh, okay. May I roll an insight check? Yes, you <laughs> may. Anybody else who would like to as well? Fenrir doesn't know what he just walked in on. <laughs> right, you're just He's like... just like... Uh, uh, Boudreaux would just think... This turned really serious really quick. Uh, What's sorry. going on? And now Roscoe just left. <laughs> you come in, he goes out. That's a modded 20. You can tell that he's trying to cover up something. He's not telling you the full truth, or telling Aleem the full truth. It is none of my business, but on Aleem deserves to know what you're withholding. I'm withholding nothing. Just yes, (laughs) awkwardly staring at him. Just eyebrow raised, Um, like I got. You can tell he's uncomfortable. Yeah. Right. Your body language says otherwise. Is this true, Bronstrom? Is there something you are not telling me? Well, Miss Aleem, if to um, be frank, I do not believe that the, the, the hollow should be part of this family anymore. It has been a, a, a cursed place, and it has never brought fortune or any good luck to us. And I do believe that it should be should be let go. However, I do not want my child involved in it. And that is the reason why the sale has been um, 
blocked for some time. I see. Why did you not tell me this? Uh, um, I do not wish to continue this discussion with the others around. Um, if you find folks would please leave. Me and Aleem have much to uh, discuss. Of course. If I may... No, I... you not. You may leave now. This spell will end soon. You may leave. He escorts you to the door, and he firmly locks the gate behind you. Mm. Roscoe! <laughs> Yo! You are on your little adventure. You head down to the shanties. Um, I'm guessing you're going to be talking to people trying to find where the Tipsy Turvy Tavern is. Yeah, I'll be asking people. And I'm kind of just like, Roscoe's like super, almost annoyed at this point. He's okay. just frustrated with the whole situation, you know. He's, again, feels like everything that we've been trying to do is going absolutely nowhere. We're failing. We're dropping the ball, you know. And so the reason he went off on his own is more to just try and clear his head a little bit because it's like we've spent, you know, how long, you know, we've participated in the tournament that we fell, failed in. We've had these different opportunities to potentially save the hollow when we're not moving anywhere with it. We're just, you know, having the same situations over and over again. And so he's just trying to kind of clear his head and, you know, see if there's a different approach that maybe he's missed or something. Gotcha. To take care of some of this stuff. Okay. It takes you a minute to get down to the shanties because you got to go through the central district to the commerce district and then out to the shanties. So it's a lot of time to ponder, a lot of time to think. I mean, you are able to be pointed to where the Tipsy Turvy Tavern is. <clears throat> Upon entering, it's kind of a one of the lower tavern in places right it's several different tents that are it's kind of like a makeshift place it's not a tavern at all they do supply drinks they do supply sleeping areas but it's very crowded um you do when you walk in there's a bunch of different characters there let's say um and there's one that stares at you from the distance and stands up and uh, you notice that it is a creature that you necessarily haven't seen before. They almost look cat-like. And they have like a grayish fur with kind of black little spots on it. And he approaches you and he's like, Yes, you must be Roscoe. I am. My name is Yolinx. I have been asked to... The one that I escort has asked me to asked to meet with you. Come with me. So I will uh, follow this mysterious character to the letter A. I didn't picture him with a great coat. I don't know why. <clears throat> I've always wanted to find the beginning of the alphabet. <laughs> it's been lost to me for years. <laughs> I've always started with C. <laughs> <laughs> no, B for Poudro. <laughs> I thought it was okay. C for cook. <laughs> so you weave in and out of the shanties, and he's taking you out, out of the shanties. And there you find kind of a small tent, and he opens the tent flat for you. You walk in, and in there you see kind of a a gruff looking, kind of looks like a a half elf, but not so. But you can kind of tell he's probably maybe half human, so a half elf. He's not a very tall. One, he's probably about five six, but he looks very weathered. Rasko, my name is Arthanel. I heard your speech in the tournament earlier, and I think we can help each other. How is that? I myself has been seeking an audience with with the Duke, Duke Gregory. I have intel on. The movements of the Trigruven. Okay. But my letters have been unanswered. But I think it is critical that I speak to him. 
and knowing that you as well would like to speak with him, I figured we could come up with a plan to meet with the Duke. Did you have, I mean, <clears throat> something in mind? I am new here. I do not have many connections at all. I am a wanderer myself. Dark wanderer? <laughs> <laughs> wink wink <laughs> the, the darkest no I do not have a plan no but I was see if we could put our heads together to see if we can come up with something I why no offense but why should I trust you you're right you have no bounds to trust me on but I believe that you are a capable person. To stand up to the Duke, such as you did, I see it shows heart. And that is somebody that I want on my side. And what exactly is your side in comparison to the Trigrovin? The Trigrovin have been causing issues, as you may know. Yeah. And they plan on causing more. And I have that information for the Duke to halt said destruction. Sounds like some pretty pretty big stuff going on. Yes. I have a potential meeting with the Duke already. Uh, I can't guarantee that I can get you in there because I'm not the one setting it up. I'm kind of got pulling some strings for someone to get me in there. But if you'd like, I can take that information and I can relay it to them, to the Duke, and say, look, this is a big concern. You know, talk to him about it and or spilling everything else and having the conversation, give him that information, and then either try and set a meeting up with you or if he's got any feedback information to pass back to you or whatever, I can go that way. I don't know that I have the ability to get us both in there, though, as it is I'm pushing my luck getting someone from my party and this other person in there. I do know that you are associated with the Glomquest, correct? That's what they tell me. I may hold a cure for Miss Aleem. And what do you know about her situation? I know that she is troubled. And I possess an item that could cure her. This is one way that I could show you my that you can trust me. I'm not doubting that I can trust you. You're against the Trigroven and I'm against the Trigroven. That's I mean pretty straightforward. I've until you give me a reason not to trust you, I have no reason to not trust you. I just don't know that I can get you in with the Duke with me. But I can go in and relay the message and see if he'd be willing to meet you afterwards. The information that I hold is very sensitive. And I do not want to relay any of it, for it might be heard by somebody not. So write it in a sealed envelope, and I'll take it with me. I will speak with the Duke personally with this. <sighs> but if you help me with this... I can guarantee that Miss Aleem will be cured and that any aid that your hollow needs will be met. And how is that? I have my connections. Are they that questionable connections? I will leave it at that. That's not... I'm sorry, that's not good enough. I got... I'm here trying to save a city. I'm not going to put it in another predicament if I don't know what's going on. You will receive the supplies that it needs. Are they going to be obtained properly? Are they going to be, you know, not tainted by the blood of someone else? They were not taken by blood, no. You, this is my request. You take care of Miss Glonquest first, and then I will get you in there with me. Because the whole reason at this point that we're trying... To, I have n no dealings with the Duke anymore. I have no need to get up there. I have a potential 
plan for, you know, we've got something in line for the hollow. I have no real need at this point to go see the Duke. But you, you help Miss Glonquist first, and you do it by tomorrow morning when I go to meet my person to arrange the meeting, and I will get you in there with me. But it's only it's got it's gonna be one or the other. It's either gonna be you or Miss Glomquest. It won't be able to be both. If I heal this Miss Glomquest, you can guarantee me entrance to see the Duke once she's out of the way? Y- y- yes, question mark. I believe so. But you've also got to assure me that you're not gonna make me look like a fool in front of the Duke. No, I will not. I have a little bit of stature to maintain here. <laughs> he chuckles at that. <laughs> Dad joke. Ah, ah, ah. Boo. <laughs> yes. I believe that can be arranged. What do we need to do? I will need to see Miss Glumquist. Okay. And I will cure her. Is there anything else you need from me or just to get you to Miss Glonquist? As long as you hold up your end of the bargain, everything will go smoothly. Fine. What else can I do for you? That is it. I got to go find the rest of my party and figure stuff out. Yeah. Um, Maybe you shouldn't have left us behind. (laughs) (laughs) Missing. A little fire going on over here. here. And Maybe if Henley's not I drama queen, here. but Abby is. <laughs> remind, me, remind me what your name was. My name is Arthanel. Arthanel? Correct. And what was your name? Looking at the other... My name is your links. I will be back in contact with you early, late tomorrow morning. I will be waiting. Great. I'm going to go get food. Okay. Off to get food. <laughs> the most important thing that we do We're every off day. Off to get food. Okay. Wonderful food. Okay, going back to the group. Well, since we've been kicked out, do you think that our weapons be ready? Ah, uh, we could go see. What? I mean, now I got nowhere else to go. Sure, I, I got. Mean, he he glares we... at you like, do you? I, are you talking <laughs> about that fancy little um blacksmith person you guys were talking about? Uh huh. Cool. I got. Some armor that I took from Oscar that I want to sell because it looked like I'd seen a better day even for Oscar and didn't even fit him. So if they want it, I would like to get rid of it. I mean, do we know where Roscoe went to? I kind of need to talk to him too. She said he went to the shanties. Yeah, he went down to the shanties, but there's quite a few places that he could have gone down there. And unless you kind of know where you're going, that's where Posh's posse is. <laughs> Hong Kong, Kong. <laughs> anyway. I've been thinking about that one all morning. <laughs> there it is. I don't know what's more funny, that you were thinking about it all morning or you saying it. <laughs> I, I would like to stop in and see if Garoth's daddy left, left a letter at our lovely little sleeping uh, arrangement and then uh, go see about selling this, some of the stuff because I don't want it anymore. It does look like a beautiful afternoon for me to catch a date. <laughs> that makes two of us. So, well, sounds like that. we're going to uh, see if about Garatha's dad's note. If yeah, he, see if, if he, there. there's anything that's gone on there. Well, do you want us to take the armor and go try to go sell it while we go to the shop? Wait a minute. Or do you want to go with us? Is I it have close nothing. To each other? Better to do. I'd like to go with because I, I mean I've never seen I've never been there before. All right. Anyone Which, that's been to the blacksmith with me would remember that the aren't the weapons aren't going to be done for two or three days still. That's why I had to take my old glaive back. Ding! Light bulb goes off in Fenrir's head. <laughs> well, Boudreaux, it's a good idea to go to go see to update, but I don't think they'll be done for another day or two. Oh. You know what? I'm just going to go check and see if there's a letter, and then I'm going to go check on my horse. I... Do you Ooh. want us to sell the armor? I don't. No. No, because you will keep the money. <laughs> uh, oh. That's right. I had something I need to talk to you about. Garatha or Lila told me that you took some of my money. I did not take any of your money, Boudreaux. <laughs> what? I would never. We you, 
would never laugh. Wow, wow, wow. You gave me money in my hat as I was performing to, as I did a good job. But I didn't take it out of your wallet. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> That's true. Uh, I was don't there. Think that I was... is what happened. What? <sighs> I wasn't there, so I wasn't what that... And besides, I used it to pay us to get into the tournament. <sighs> so I don't have any more. Oh. Well, fine. Fine. But I also helped pay for your potions with some of it too that's where some of it went oh yeah that's why i paid for the potions you know what i'm sorry i shouldn't have done that you are a nice fellow you know what you nice yeah that's about it yeah okay what we gonna do now well i thought you were gonna go get a date well i would love to go see donkey oh is donkey more important than a date yeah Doc is more important than a lot of things around here. You can come with me if you want, sugar. <laughs> All righty. I look awkwardly at Fenrir. What should we do? <laughs> I look like awkwardly back. Like, I don't, like... Do y'all want to go check on your horses too? I know you don't have quite as big of a bond as we do, but yeah, <laughs> do what you want. Well, our horses died. That's why we don't have a bond with our current mounts. Well, yeah. But you could make a new bomb with the current mounts. <laughs> but um, weren't we supposed to go deliver a message to someone? Oh yeah, we can go. We can go talk to. Uh, I talking about Pauline. Pauline. Yeah. Pauline's not in the city. And didn't you already deliver the message? Wait, well, I mean, I can't really deliver it because she's not here. But they were gonna deliver that dog. That's what you told us. <sighs> I don't know if they actually... Well, we discussed the fact that, that she, when she came back, that they, if she came back, they might get around to, to doing that. But there was also a lot of other things happening there, too. We can go and check, or y'all can go and check if you want and see if she's back. Well, that's that's what we'll be. Is we're going to head down to the Shanties and okay. try to talk Shanties oh, Black. It goes, is the tournament over yet? Oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> yeah, you guys could go watch that. Let's go see you in the tournament. Yeah. There's still lots of crowd and noise and stuff, so you probably think that the combat. Let's go has watch the started. tournament and see who yeah. wins. I like that idea. That's a great idea. Let's go do that. Cool. Okay, you guys are heading there. You guys head off to find a find a place in the stands with it. So far, the first round of the of the tournament has been completed so they're on kind of the second the second round there's going to be two rounds per day and there was nix versus bell bill Braun, which you guys weren't there for the fight but you did hear that nix was the victory there and then the next one was elama and sigmund and that was a really close one but elama ended up winning that one so in the next round it was going to be portia Versus Nix, Kelvar versus Morgrain, Talib versus Alim, uh, mm. Elama <laughs> versus Alim, huh? She's in it. Like, <laughs> crazy Alim. She's like, if these guys can't chance. do it, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> Talib versus Elama and Tharvor, Tharvor versus Naivara. So those ones you are getting ready to witness. The first one being. Portia and Nyx. Have fun with that. I'm mad that I didn't get in. Groth is mad that we didn't get in. Mm. Well, you're going to the stables anyway. No, right? well, that's the reason that she wants to go to the stables rather than go see stuff and check on, see if there's a letter, because Groth is mad that they didn't do anything. Right, you're going to uh, the pencil place. <laughs> the pencil! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Henley... Fenrir head into the We're splitting tournament. up into couples. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. The, the yeah, yours wills. might be able to con- con- be considered a date, but ours will never be considered a date. <laughs> the fifth will is out of the way. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's me. Oh, I don't think you're a fifth wheel. Okay. <laughs> Henley on. Fenrir, you're head into the tournament. Boudreaux and Lila, you arrive at the pencil place. What's the pencil place's name, DM? What Choir is an atramentum. No, I asked the name. Choir is an atramentum. <laughs> you guys walk in, Lizbeth. and Lizbeth is at, at the counter, and she recognizes you. She's like, oh, Lila, 
I did receive a letter for uh, Garatha. Yeah, that's me. We're the same person. Oh, okay. But, she just doesn't even yeah. ask anymore. <laughs> there was, a, there was an eye roll while I said it, too. So. <laughs> okay, well, here it is. <gasps> mail! Do you often not get mail? <gasps> mail time. We didn't know how that works. Oh, Here's Willow's going to love that. It it's like fails. a little present. It makes me want to wag my tail. <laughs> here it comes. I want to wail. Mail! <laughs> We got Dora and Blue's Clues now. <laughs> yes! They're, they're competing. <laughs> Who will get the most souls? It's like a samurai fight. Dora v. Blue. And who wins? It's magenta. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Sneak attack. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm <after> talking. <clears throat> Willow's gonna be so excited when he gets one. It's like a present. Did you rat Willow? Yeah. Oh, that's so sweet, sugar. Anyways, I'm going to open up this letter if you don't mind. Alrighty. Okay. I don't care if you read it. Can I read it over your shoulder? (laughs) You're not there and you're too short. (laughs) Okay. It says, I can help two of your group in. Uh, Brighton has other ideas. He will see you at the Hammered Tavern this evening. All right. Fadir. Well? What does it say? Do not read it? I would have. If I wanted to. Oh, okay. Well, you asked what it said, so I thought you wanted to. <clears throat> Dan, do, what does it say? Do you not know how to read? <laughs> no. <laughs> Sugar, I can teach you. That'd be fine. Yeah, you could. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Maybe next time you read, you like point along with me. Sure, yeah. I used to do that with my mama. Well, no, my mother. It was like, run, dwarf, run. Is there a difference between your mama and your mother? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Anyway, it says that my daddy, oh no, my daddy, he might as well be my daddy. I met him. He's a real nice man. Garatha's daddy can uh, can get two people in and that Brighton has other ideas uh, and he's going to meet it. Somebody's going to meet us at the Hammer, Hammer Tavern tonight. So, I mean, if you want to come. Oh, yeah, let's go. All right. Well, I still want to go check on Ferdinand. If you're all right with that. Yeah, let's go. You know who Ferdinand is, right? Your pony? Well, it's not. Yeah, my pony. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> not worth arguing. <laughs> Roscoe. Yeah. Head into Dwall. Yeah. Okay. Boo. And the shop is closed. Oh, rip. Nobody there? Nobody there. Soul in sight? Is there anyone out front? Nope. Anyone on the street? There's people walking the street, yeah. Nobody that would be of interest to talk to. (laughs) Is anybody holding information? Can I speak to somebody? I'd like to speak to the manager. (laughs) Fine. Um,. Is anybody near him here named Karen? <laughs> I need to speak to a Karen. She can get things done. Sorry. I apologize to anyone named Karen. It's actually a lovely name. <laughs> That's my sister's name. I'm a It is. <laughs> Which is funny because she's like a store manager. <laughs> it's like a double. <laughs> double meaning. <laughs> I'll probably just... Wander aimlessly around the city for a little while. Okay. Just being annoyed. Okay. That's fine. With the whole situation. Trying to think things through. Don't get It's mugged. been a frustrating... I mean, there's been a lot going on this today. Yeah. There's been finding out that you're out of the tournament. There's been the Duke being kind of a jerk. And then just all the mess that's been going on. I can imagine that Roscoe is just... Like several people of your group have said, they're just fed up with never winning, never but getting ahead. Are we in this blasted city? It's not even cool anymore. It's my fault, and I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> right, it's been a lot of setbacks when things just aren't moving forward. Yep, I can understand that. Okay, we'll jump to Henley and Fenrir. You are able to see the combat between Portia and Nyx. Nyx Henley, com- Henley watches like her every move of Portia because of her previous 
training session with her. Okay. And this one, you can tell that pretty much the whole time uh, Portia is in charge. Nyx comes in very confident and aggressive. And Portia is kind of just deflecting all her moves and was able to make a few critical hits, knocking Nyx out for the win. Next up was Kelvar and Morgren. It was a close battle, and it was a very brutal battle. It was between two dwarves, but Morgren was able to pull off the win. What? It was kind of an upset. Everybody thought Kelvar was going to win, but Morgren took the took the win. Boudreau and Lila, uh-huh. are you guys just going to stay down at the at the horse? Horse place where the horses are staying? Um, or do you want to do anything else? I would particular? probably have, like, check on the horse, check, okay. uh, and see, like, with the, the stable hands and stuff, like, they've been taking care of her, okay. and make sure that she's okay and whatnot, and physically look at her, chat with her for a minute, and then probably be done and ready to go find Roscoe, because... Well, don't you want to go to that tavern? Well, yeah, but I want to go with Roscoe. Oh, the horse seems really fine. They've been taking really good care of her, especially her wound. They've been good. cleaning that up and taking care of it as, as well. Um, um, donkey's doing really well. In the middle of like when they're resetting up for another battle, Henley asks, "So what? Where were you earlier today?" <gasps> and his eyes get really big because he forgot <laughs> 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 about what he was doing. He was excited to go to the tournament, and he's like. Oh, I actually went to talk to Mendrick's wife. Oh. Joanna? Yeah. What did you find out? Um, he like starts getting up and is like, we should probably get going. <laughs> okay. Uh, where are we going? And so as he, as he gets up, he, he starts telling you that, well, I talked to Joanna because I wanted to find out more about Mendrick. Yeah. And do you remember the letter that we found at the top of the plateau? Yeah, that, yeah. That, that Roscoe that withheld Roscoe and then found. told us about. Yeah. So I, I asked Joanna about it and was telling her all about the things Mendrick has done. And to her, it didn't sound like the Mendrick that she knew. Oh. And so she wanted me to bring the letter to me, bring the letter that was written by that MW to her to see if she could. See if that was Mendrick's writing. Well, let's do it. That's solid ev- The only evidence we have that he right. was even you- part of the bandit gang. Right. Do you know where his letter, that letter would be? Well, I think Roscoe either has it in his belongings or on him. Should we go check his belongings? I don't feel kind of good about that, but I, I don't, don't know where he went. Uh, I mean, we could try and go find him because I don't really feel yeah. we should rifle through his stuff. <laughs> I agree. I agree. I, I don't really want to do that. So, yeah, let's let's head down to the shanties and see if we can find him. Yeah, let's do that. All right. <laughs> We're off to find Roscoe. <laughs> Not today. Where's Roscoe? <laughs> I said first of all. Where have you been? <laughs> Where in the world is Roscoe, Roscoe. Thorngate? <laughs> okay, so Henley and Fenner, you are off to find Roscoe. Luckily, you were able to run into him because where he was at looking for food and stuff and at Dwall's place is pretty close to the stadium. So you guys are able to meet up again. Roscoe, we're looking for you. Hey. We, <laughs> Fenrir, you wanted to ask Roscoe something. Yeah, so I went and talked to Mendrick's wife. Okay. She wants to, you know that letter that we got up on the plateau? Uh-huh. She wants to inspect it for Mendrick's writing. Okay. To see if it was his writing, if it was him, you know, plotting against... That's the only evidence That's we have. The only evidence we have against him, if it was in fact him. Is she anywhere near here? She's um, actually over near the stables. I, well, wait, yeah, because you said yeah. her place is over in the it's business di- district. Mm-hmm. And where, so where, where, where are the other two? Do we know? They're in the stables. Great. Let's go that way because we, we need to have a talk. Do you have that letter? I do. Um, Shink. <laughs> 
What? He snatches it and runs. No. <laughs> Where were you? Uh, I was having a conversation that I will fill you all in one time. Oh. <laughs> so let's go find the other two and we'll go sit down somewhere and we'll have a conversation. It doesn't sound promising. Okay, you guys are able you to make re- your... Roscoe's pretty freaking grumpy at this point, so... Okay, you guys are able to run into he- to Boudreaux and Lila down at the stables, checking on the horses. First things first, um, Fenrir, where are we taking this letter? Uh, to the Walmart Enterprise place. And they're close to here? Yes. Great, let's go do that real quick. Shink. But what happened... Okay. <laughs> He's not going to argue, he wants to go... <laughs> I'll give you the letter. I'm not going to... Wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Why are we going to Walmart, Walmart Enterprise? Oh, I then fill her in on what happened. Perfect. Okay. Why it, um, You do a lot of questionable things sometimes, sir. But I can't fault you for that, because so does Garatha. Let's do this. Okay, you guys head up to Walrand Enterprises. Enter the door, and uh, Joanna is is sitting there. I'm going to be probably just outside the door. Cause I honestly, at this point mm. don't think that I would do any good being inside. Gotcha. Hanley goes in with Fenrir. Everyone else can go in. That's fine. I'm just, <laughs> I'm not. I would probably stay out with Roscoe. Okay. We're going to leave Boudreau? Boudreau outside too. <laughs> <laughs> We're leaving Boudreau outside too. <laughs> um, this Boudreau. is a tall Watch people meeting only. <laughs> <laughs> no. So while they're doing that, we'll be sitting outside the door and I'll pull out the letter that I got and fill him in on it and then be pointing out letters and words. All right. little learning. little reading lesson. Reading Boudreaux. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And uh, that, that wasn't from me. That was from a bombarded. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't come up with that myself. I don't take credit. Reading Randy. Check them out. They're fun. <laughs> Anyways. Um, Joanna t- stands up and she's like, do you have the letter? So I take out the letter and I hand it over to her. Okay. And she opens it up and reads it and she just shakes her head. She's like, no, this is not his writing. Is it the writing of one of his subjects? One, not, maybe not his subjects, but one of his workers, one of his... The, one of his writer guy that he tells to write stuff. I, I do not. They're here. They wouldn't be with him. I, I don't know whose writing this is. It is not Mendrix. Okay. Do you recognize the writing at all? Yeah. I, I don't, but M. What about the signature? I mean, M. W. I, I mean, that would fit Mendrick Weathers. I'm going to have her roll something. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, nice. Hmm. Natural 20. <laughs> Ooh. I don't know. Is this good yes for us or, or good no? for them? Oh. oh, no. I. Th- it could be Marlo Walrun. Oh. And that is where we're going to end the episode today. Ah! <laughs> Thank you guys for Ooh, listening. Uh, <laughs> 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 Big shout out to D.A. Nichols for writing our music and check out her RPG at drivethroughrpg.com Shields of Power Also check out our our social medias Tomes of the Chaos Bard on Instagram, on Twitter chaosbardpod at gmail.com if you wish to email us Don't forget to give us some 5 star reviews for Solemn to give you a shout out and leave a review so we know who to give a shout out to Also f- remember our sponsor we like to thank our sponsor f- uh, nerd alert treasures type in Tomies our promo code t-o-m-i-e-s for a 15% discount I am DM Dave and to the right we have Fenrir Roscoe Lila Grotha Boudreau and Henley and until ne- next time we unroll the scroll to tell the tale bye